All right, welcome back to City of Allen Fishing Field Team, COAF Field Team. And uh, this round, it's March 3, 2019, uh, Field Team Updates. And what we want to talk about this round is Frisco Commons Pond, uh, McKinney Town Lake, uh, Murphy City Complex Pond, and then uh, Prosper Frontier Park. These are all um, locations that were recently stocked. I think Frisco is about two weeks ago. The other three, McKinney, Murphy, and Prosper, just last week, uh, last weekend. Uh, all of them had trout derbies, all of them had trout stocked, and we've um, hit all of them except for Frontier Park in Prosper. Uh, and so, uh, some things to be said, Frisco Common Ponds, uh, it's, it's always a tough bite, uh, but we, we tend to get them on dry flies as well as wet flies, or at least fishing a COF Griff nat, or Griffith's gnat, uh, fishing it wet or dry. Uh, that tends to uh, get us limits. It was pretty cold when we went there that uh, that day, um, but they were there. Um, not sure if they're still there. One thing that we did learn over the past years of fishing that uh, location is uh, bring some dry flies because when you see them on the surface feeding on the on um, whatever's hatching, it's a good thing to have those. And usually they're really small, like ooh size size 18, size 20 wouldn't uh, be a bad thing. Uh, get the get the different colors, be it black. Uh, maybe a light cream dun color. Uh, those are also good. Um, maybe a light brownish cream color as well or sulfur. Um, and bottom line, take a look at what's hatching. Maybe even grab one of them and uh, see if you can match the hatch. Uh, but it can be uh, pretty frustrating if you're out there trying to catch them because you'll be some, see them hitting on the surface and they're not, uh, they're not striking. Or if they are striking, uh, when you are using the appropriate uh, uh, pattern, and you're still missing it because, uh, whatever, mojo's off. Um, our, our, our tendency is our mojo's off when we're there. But every once in a while, we're able to bring in a limit uh, and um, enjoy, enjoy some some fresh cooked trout. Uh, other place, McKinney Town Lake. Uh, that one ended up uh, fishing it after the derby. Uh, I think it was the following day. Uh, fished a smaller pond. There's a bridge uh, between the larger part of the lake to this pond and they had it cordoned off with the netting as well as in the other part of the, the larger part of the pond it's also cordoned off as well went there uh, last weekend able to limit out I had a fun time brought uh, Charlie uh, Maltese puppy of ours our our field team mascot and he had a good time checking things out uh, did check it out uh, I think it was yesterday yep yesterday and it was cold and didn't get anything but luckily we did um, make another run to another lake um, or pond, Murphy City Complex Pond. Well, we went there last weekend as well. Ended up living out on trout as well and had a fun time there using the olive near deer. Um, and then went back there again tomorrow or yesterday and tried the olive near deer, a pink near deer, and nothing. And then uh, switched over to a trailing gold ribs hair ear, gold rib hairs ear and nymph. Uh, trailing just behind the olive near deer, yes, olive near deer, and started getting hits. Uh, still had a little miss here or there. Ended up losing a few to some snags and whatnot. Um, put on a pink near deer and that trailing gold ribs hairs ear nymph, and then later on a pheasant tail, and then back to a gold ribs hairs ear nymph, and we were able to limit out there. It was cold, uh, but they were biting, and they're probably still biting today. So if you have an opportunity, or at least if you ask us where to go. Um, Probably of the of the ones in Collin County, our our county, uh, would definitely hit Murphy. Um, that said, uh, talking about some other things, there are some of note things. This uh, recent happenings, Garland Avalon Park. That one uh, was just recently stocked, I believe, yesterday. So uh, that one's freshly stocked. So maybe a good opportunity to give that a shot. And then, oh by the way, Blue River, uh, they opened up their catch and release section. So um, it's all uh, put and take. So, opportunity is some big trout being caught over there in Blue River, Oklahoma by uh, Tishomingo. Uh, do check that one out. They also had a recent um, tournament that uh, a, lot of, a lot of nice fish were, were caught there. Um, I think they were talking of 20-plus uh, inch uh, trout. So, good stuff up there. Uh, and then, uh, we do have our Near Deer giveaway. Um, this round, we're going to do uh, two pink Near Deer. This is what we were using uh, yesterday. Uh, when we're out there at Murphy, and um, what we suggest is, or what um, we we ask this round is, 
Similar to the last time, uh, instead of the random drawing, just guess a number from 1 to 100. Um, put it in the comments of this uh, YouTube uh, video and put your guess and we'll see if uh, you win it. And we'll just keep going until someone wins it. Last time it took, I think it was three days uh, before someone guessed the number. Uh, so, uh, and if you are uh, following us on Facebook, uh, you can also put uh, your guess there and we'll, we'll definitely track um, that information as well to see if anyone gets the number. So, um, starting whenever we post this, go ahead and put in the comments and we'll, we'll keep tracking. All right. Uh, okay, so other things to uh, upcoming things. So we're working on a catch and cook Lower Illinois River um, uh, recipe catch and cook video. Some let's see, we caught a striped bass and I think it was like two two rainbow trout, and we were able to uh, get get uh, some mix up the recipe and whatnot. And we just haven't um, posted it and you know got sidetracked, got to go fishing instead of making videos, you know. So anyways, uh, do stay tuned for that. And then, uh, oh, by the way, TRWD Fly Fest. Again, Saturday, March uh, 9, 2019. I think we've said it several times in different posts and whatnot. Uh, do stay tuned for that one. Uh, we do hear that there's a, a potential for some rain that day. But luckily, I think it's going to be in the 70s. So i uh, got some warm weather, maybe some wet weighed, uh, wading gear instead of uh, bringing the waders. Uh, but bottom line, uh, do stay tuned. Watch the weather. And if you do have the opportunity to make it out there, uh, definitely give it a shot. Alrighty, so that said, uh, we do ask if you uh, uh, like what we're doing, uh, subscribe. Uh, if you like uh, some of the stuff we're doing as well, put a little like and whatnot. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely shoot it our way if we have an idea of how to answer it, if we have uh, an idea of where to go for, to reach out to other folks as well, we'll do that. Um, and additionally, we're always looking for suggestions and, and things to uh, bring up. Uh, and then uh, do check back periodically because um, we're always we're always doing something okay all right so uh, we'll just close out with once we get this posted uh, do put in the comments your guess 1 to 100 uh, have to have be a US address that we uh, send these um, fish and flies to it's gonna be the two pink uh, near deer and um, uh, we'll stay tuned and again uh, we'll be checking comments on the YouTube channel as well as comments on our Facebook page uh, both of the same name C-O-A-F Field Team. Alright, so next time we'll catch you all later and good luck and good fishing.